Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I just actually finished filming a bit of a uh, tutorial for all dashi nails. This video is not sponsored, just wanted to let you guys know. Um, if you are a nail addict like I am and love to have your nails done, take a look at the video just because I think the product is really, really great. And being a nail addict, I'm giving you my sincere review that the product is excellent. So anyways, if you want to do that, go check it out. I'm wearing them right now and I love them. So just thought I'd film this haul for you guys while I had also done this intro. And I'm sitting here and it's quiet for a few minutes. Bear was barking quite a bit, but then I got him calmed down and thought I better film quickly while I have a chance. Anyways, if you've seen, I've been going through Dollar Tree and Dollarama. Sorry, my camera just tipped over. So I've been going to Dollar Tree and Dollarama quite a bit more because I've been on the hunt for some things. Um, especially with fall coming, like with fall around the corner, if you don't buy the thing that you're looking for the moment you see it or that it's out, we know it's going to be gone and especially now that Dollar Tree is kind of like all over social media um, things sell out so so quick it used to be like this hidden bit of a gem or treasure treasure for us addicts who would go regularly but now it seems to be a lot more people know about it so if something gets put out it's not only there for a for a while um, I find that I don't know maybe it's just me but I find now People will buy entire stocks, uh, stockpiles of stuff. It's no longer like I buy one or two things. People are buying like 10 or 12 of, of things. And I'm not sure if it's because it's being resold on Amazon or on eBay or what's going on out there. Um, but it's a little bit out of hand. So anyways, I'm on a hunt for just a couple things and I just can't find it. Anyways, we're moving on, right? can't really complain it's not a serious situation organizer with lid I love lovely love using these in my craft room if you haven't seen how I organize a lot of my craft goodies take a peek at some of my I think like I share a little craft room tour or organization tour take a look at how I use them because these are fantastic they have they have a lid this one here some of them have lids and some of them don't um but anyways i just needed some more for my organization i picked up this little garden rain reed diffuser to be honest i have never tried this myself i purchased i think the blue one a year or so ago and i gave it away as a gift do these work nice are they you know worth purchasing going forward or as gifts and to be honest with you i don't honestly know how the throw is from them um, Winnie the Pooh little die cuts. These were fully stocked at my store. I'm not sure if it's coming through on the screen. Super cute little cutouts. They're big. Um, there's Pooh Bear and Piglet and little balloons and all sorts of cutouts. I, you know what? I was just like, I have to make a cute little card with it. How can I pass up buying them and not making a birthday card with them? And I got some more pens, guys. I still have a review to do for you. I am so embarrassed. I have a box full of pens and I still buy more when I go to the Dollar Tree and especially this time of year with stationery and back to school, there's new things out, right? So I see it and I'm like, okay, well, here, I'll try it. Or if I see it and I don't buy it, it's probably gonna be gone next time I go in. These are the R2 Rollers Precise Writing 0.7 mil. I am obsessed with my nails I love them and you know what's awesome about it I'm sorry I'm going on about it it took me less than five minutes do you guys realize sometimes I spend an hour and a half doing my nails five minutes seriously five minutes I, I have to go on their website and check it out our tour on this I'm telling you this video is not sponsored so I'm sorry if I'm just raving about them but I'm absolutely in love cardstock tags uh, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud just little marble tags and these are just cute if you want to even throw them on a birthday uh, birthday bag oh I got this for my daughter I had never seen lol coloring books there the only thing is you, you guys know about my preference with having nice white thick pages but you can always like photocopy a page not for I don't know copyright issues or anything like that but if you wanted an on nice piece of white paper for coloring just photocopy it from your photo on your printer at home and uh, print it off on a good piece of white paper and then you can have better coloring pages I'm just I'm really picky anyone else picky about their coloring pages 
I found one of these and I was so happy because I was this the only one that was clear when I went in. Uh, these are from the student teacher area. I haven't seen any more on any of my other Dollar Tree visits. It was just this one store. I want to put my tiny little ink pads in them, my one inch ones, and I want to store them in here so I can still see them. It's not as sturdy. Like I really love these acrylic organizers. This one's not as sturdy. It's a little bit more flimsy, but it's clear and it has a little lock pad, uh, lock top. And it says storage container, easy peel label. Oh, it's from the teaching tree. So this thing comes off really quick. I also got these rub on transfers. Don't ask me. Like seriously, I don't need these, but I couldn't pass them up because they just, they're so cute. And I thought maybe if I did some journaling or something, I don't know. I, I just had to have them. Just, they're just cute. Do you ever do that? You just buy stuff because it's cute. That's my, that's a problem when you go to Dollar Tree. Whoa. I didn't realize how many things I actually had here. All right. I hope you still have a good view. My haul is quite large. I had to move everything away from here. Okay. So I'll go quickly so that we don't waste too much time. Pop up date, pop up, pop dot tape. There's there are three options here, a thin, a medium, and a larger, thick, uh, larger in th size or diet. Yeah, larger, three size, multi-pack. And um, it's the millimeters. So there are the three sizes. These are great if you're doing pocket letters or pop-up dimensions or anything like that in the scrapbooking community. Highly recommend. They're forever in time, great brand, super sticky. Uh, just a bamboo, what do you call it? wooden spoon I guess bamboo spoon for the kitchen nothing fancy wanted to talk to you guys about these so they have them now uh, they're the linen corp Canada I love 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 these towels they're very good quality I actually got two gray actually three gray so there's three different um, two of the same color and one of the lighter gray if you are looking now I have noticed that they no longer carry them like this on a little hanging thing what they've done is they have actually opened them up wide rolled them up like this and are selling them as a yoga or a sports towel they're the exact same so if you're on the hunt for them these are very good quality they wash very well and they're large so very good quality. I have the pink one in my daughter's bathroom and I almost bought another one, but I just, I didn't. But I did notice, the reason why I did notice was because I was looking for another pink one and they're sold as the hand towel or a sorry yoga towel in the, in the hand towel area or considered a sports towel. Guys, look at this. I only found one of these but i'm so glad i did and simply blessed i'm so 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 happy i got my hands on these look at the patterns aren't they the cutest look at that how much decoupaging you can do with these or you can frame them these ones are really pretty too and i just thought those went with those transfers the transfer that i have but like how cute for easter i love them they're so cute okay I got some key ring clips because whenever I do little charms and stuff with the clay for my daughter and we make the little um, with the uh, ice cube trays we make the little clay so I usually hang that off of uh, like a charm uh, a ring oh my goodness a chain link onto the little charm and then I put it into the clay and then it dries and then she can hang it on our backpack or give it away as a keychain or anything like that glitter ribbon this is so pretty and I've been looking actually for fall ribbon, you know, with the cute patterns for fall and no luck at any of my stores. Again, something that probably already came out and got swiped up. But this one here I found and it's just a, a gold glitter, but a really pretty delicate gold. Sometimes there's like that very bright yellow gold and it's not as nice. It's a sticker. So I'm really happy with that. Book rings, just to do some journaling, some paper, some paper crafts, and also um, DIYs. These are always handy. And I got a little canvas placemat. You can always wrap these around the yellow, uh, the orange fluorescent pumpkins. Those awful looking pumpkins that I've transformed a few times on my channel with this fabric hair, and you got a cute neutral pumpkin. Make sure you paint the pumpkin first, white or spray paint it. Um, even just some acrylic white paint. Okay, so a few more things. I got 
a few of these pumpkins because I have some ideas on using them into a DIY. So I'll hopefully share that with you guys this fall and it doesn't pass me by because we know how time quickly passes sometimes. I got a little piece of a fairy door and the re I did not buy it for using it as a fairy door. I bought it because it's wood on the, like it's a full piece of wood and it's a rectangle shape. So I wanted to do something with it and hopefully I get around to that as well. All right, a couple other things. This is a, just a plain white t-shirt and it had obviously some sort of logo in here that they've tried to peel away and they've cut off the tag. I have found a lot of Gildan t-shirts. This is not one of them, I don't think. I don't know if it was a, like a good brand. I couldn't be, I couldn't tell you, but it does feel like a really nice material. And then this is their, I think their standard, which they normally carry is called the All Style Apparel and Activewear. I think this is what you normally find at our Dollar Trees. This is a little bit longer but again these are great for around the house like i love them you can easily bleach them you clean the house with them bleach them do your thing you don't have to feel bad about ruining a shirt frank's red hot red hot sweet and chili sauce tell me this is not a fantastic deal a fantastic deal so it is 1.89 liters not I would not pay this price at the dollar um, store. I would not pay this price at a grocery store for this. Fantastic, fantastic price. Sorry, I have such a big haul here. And a lot of the stuff was like such impulse purchases, crafts, like craft supplies, just random things that sometimes when you haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a while, your eyes go towards them and you just buy stuff. So like this here, for example, an impulse purchase. Couture, comfort grip, retractable, silky smooth, 1.0. Did I need any more pens? No, I didn't. And not these ones, but I thought, oh, for my daughter, they're so cute. So I got the black ones and I thought about her. I have so many pens. Oh, did you guys see me go through the stickers? They had a ton of new stickers. I got these little pink ones because I have the clear ones, but they're really glittery. They're very pretty. They have a ton of new prints at Dollarama, so I probably should have bought held off on buying this one but you know what these are really pretty too so you can easily cut up any of these pages i hope they're showing up on screen and turn them into pretty cards you can cut out like a cute balloon out of these or a house for a housewarming gift card really they're so pocket letters i just like these because they're very neutral very neutral prints and then they had these ones here, the Jot ones. They had a ton of them, pinks, blues, purples, all the colors. And they had some new uh, pages, uh, new journaling ones as well. They're a thicker paper. But again, these ones here are a little more neutral and very pretty to, to work with. Crafter Square, I got a little packet of these. You guys are familiar with this, just for paints. But to be honest, I often use them when I'm organizing my little gems, sequins, anything that I'm playing with on my craft table. I'll have those DIY banners I bought these just in case I wanted to do something for Christmas and then I wouldn't find them so anyways oh there are seven it says seven feet I don't know how many banners are in actually actually in here but you know you know the reason I almost didn't buy them was like oh I can just cut my own burlap at home but they already do have the little eyelets in them so I thought that was what was practical about it I got some makeup as well this round, so that's always interesting when I get some makeup and nail polish and stuff like that. I also found, I also found one, the little blue pumpkin. How cute. How cute. I love it. All right, so a few more things here. I got this pretty, oh, it's hard to tell. Pretty, the, the sun is coming in. Pretty nail polish in a really pale pink. And I thought I got green. Oh, I did. And I got like this kind of minty green. I don't know. Anyways, I'm like obsessed with these ones here. So for now, and then you guys always see me. I'm always wearing like a pale pink. I got this facial hair remover thing. I don't know. Like, I mean, I do my lip, so I wax it. But... I'm hoping maybe this facial hair remover. I won't do it on my cheeks. I don't think I could do that. Yeah. Has anyone 
tried that. I also got this scrub and butter body bar. I've been looking for the martini cups filled with the little bath bombs. I found one, well, I found a whole bunch of them, but only the in the green. And I wish I had bought more. I only bought one that day, and that's one regret. And then I went back to Dollar Tree, and they were all sold out. So I wouldn't blame someone for buying them as Christmas gifts, because I think they're that's fantastic. Oh, I thought I shared that with you guys. I did. Um, and I got a little detailing scissors, because they're switching these over to something else. And I really love these for my small, like, for fussy cutting. So I purchased another one in case my other one kind of breaks or stops cutting or whatever happens. I got a little bit of e.l.f. makeup and this one here is an HD lifting concealer in medium. See it there? And I got a matte lip color in rich red. So this is a pencil. Yeah. And then that's comes in like a little tube. Fantastic deal for Elf because if I go to Real Canadian Superstore or Walmart, I'm gonna pay a little bit more. I got these mini glass containers. So from Dollarama, I got the teeny tiny ones. I mean, like teeny tiny. You can barely fit anything. Maybe a couple sequins and a couple beads. Um, but of course, this is more for making jewelry and like little charms and stuff. The other ones are perfect. Make sure you just seal the cap um, with some hot glue or crazy glue so that it doesn't pop open and then all the little things come out. But how cute for like making a little necklace or a charm for for your planner or something like that. Anyways, they're glass so be careful that you're not putting them on a backpack, on a kid's backpack because they'll just shatter. And then I got some writable tabs. There's 40, 48. This usually only comes out around this time of year. Back to school, stuff like that. And then I got some planner stickers. I did not need stickers and I've been being, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been so, so good not buying all the stickers because there are so many new ones. But to be honest, I haven't been very good at using the ones I currently have from Dollar Tree, so I'm trying to hold off, but these I couldn't pass up. I'm gonna flip them, I'll flip through it on the, the table here and then I'll video for you guys. But there are such cute stickers. They had this one with a set of llamas, and then they had another set with unicorns. And I forget what the other ones were. If I have some video footage, I'll put it up on the screen. So that was that. I think I have a couple more things that fell here, and I'll grab them. Okay, a couple more things. Um, just a little sequin trim. So black and white. I got this little baby bib. My daughter ordered a reborn doll so now I've been going to the baby aisles to check all the things out and I want to let you know that they have this is cotton as well and it's just like a little bandana bib which is so cute they have different prints and stuff I just got neutral because she doesn't know what she wants the baby to be if it's going to be a boy or girl or if it's going to be both anyways so um I've been kind of going down the baby aisle I just want to let you guys know there are cute little Disney socks I'll see if I can put some footage in here um, what else was there? There's Baby King brand, which is typically a little bit more expensive, and I believe Walmart carries it. If not, it's online, and I did notice it was a little more expensive. So just a heads up on that if you are looking for baby things. And then I got the cooling rack. I, I'm not sure if I can manipulate this, but I just thought it would be neat to have something like this in my craft room for when I stamp things or I ink things and I don't want them I want them to dry but I don't want to leave them on my workstation I want to put them somewhere else and I thought maybe if I just made a little drying station with these it would work does anyone have that out there or a little cooling a little drying rack what have you used when you're painting or doing things like do you just hang them somewhere with a clip or usually it's when I'm making cards so I thought maybe I'd, I'd reinvent something here with these. That's what I bought them for. But anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well and that you enjoyed my haul today. And until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.